the other side. <laughs> the other side is this place. It's like this magical place. We think we can get to the other side that suddenly everything is going to be perfect. Everything is going to be better. You know, that, that saying, you know, uh, green is grass. Uh, the grass is greener on the other side. That kind of saying that you hear. And, and you think that, okay, finally, I've made it to the other side. So, obviously... That means things are going to be good now. I, I don't have to worry about all the things that was holding me, you know, back and, and making me feel depressed and making me feel anxiety and making me feel like I just am so unmotivated to do anything because I've made it to the other side now. So things are going to be A-OK -okay and perfect and all that. And then you realize the reality, the truth of the matter is that, yeah, just because you made it to the other side, congratulations, you managed to perhaps get through mission one <laughs> but there's like all these other missions to follow it's like when you're playing you know your favorite video game or something and you conquer one level you get through one mission then you've got the next one and so on and so on and so on and every time when you think you've made it you got to the final boss and you're like wow i beat the final boss and the game goes nah that's just that's into that level we got a new chapter now you know you finish the game and then the next couple months they bring out another part of the game like it's it's the reality is that you know just because you make the other side doesn't mean things are going to be gucci and you're not going to have any more you know dep things that depress you things that stress you things that frustrate you things that just make you feel like oh my gosh i thought i made it to the other side but i'm not even there i'm somewhere way over here i'm not even close to the other side even though you think you are and you you convinced yourself and you're like yes i've done it i'm good and then you find yourself locked out of your home and think about that because someone lives in uh you know this whole van life thing thinking it was a good idea and they then lock their keys inside and they were suddenly completely homeless without access to reaching anything because they were locked out that happened and let me tell you that was a very 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 just there's no words there's no words to describe just how absolutely oh my gosh you got to be kidding me like to know that you're locked out of your home you know this is this is home this is home you know and as crazy as it is to do the van life thing to think that wow you know this van has become home in every sense though is just as much as your homes are for you out wherever you're living i mean this is home it is what it is so finding out you can't get inside your home and then you don't have you know it's late at at, at night and you don't have access to you know, it's it's on a weekend. It happened on, on a Sunday. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of things ticking the boxes to make it the perfect storm of not a great situation. You know, it was just a perfect, like, oh my gosh, you got to be kidding. It's Sunday night. It's freaking, it's da-da-da-da, you know, trying to get it all figured out and sorted and whatever. And what do you do in the meantime? Because, well, no one's coming out couldn't get anyone to come out it, it was it was just crazy so it really put a lot of things in perspective because <laughs> again it's like you know you can't do anything I mean I can't do anything be locked out it was, it was just like what do I do where do I go what do I what 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 like what do you do what's the situation here what's the like it's just crazy the sensation you know the the reality of my gosh my whole life's in there and my home and my everything and I'm out here and uh, what do I do what do I do so my point is anyways that's just one example of a million zillion things like there's so many things that it's just so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you know I make these videos and I like to share some of it with you guys because you guys are my familia and I you know want you guys to know because I know a lot of you guys worry and are concerned and things like that so I like to give you guys an update you know when I can <laughs> because sometimes you just feel so freaking like Ugh. 
Like you've been punched in the stomach and you need to take a moment to get your air back, your wind back, and you're just like, ugh. And it's just like, it's just like this thing. It's like this, like, okay, so I am didn't make it to the other side because all this other stuff is going on. Like, it's just a bunch of stuff and I'm not going to even bother putting it on this video. We're not going to sit here and have the pity party from hell happen episode five. <laughs> you know, we're not going to do that. We're, but I wanted you guys to know that, you know, even though you sometimes think that you made it to the other side, just don't become complacent thinking that, okay, well, you're not going to have any more drama, everything's good, because life is such where, you know, things happen, the unexpected happens, things happen, and that things happen in threes real well, it's not true because things can happen in fours and fives and tens and twenties and fifties I've discovered I didn't realize it could go up that high I was hoping that it would stop at threes and uh, I made a video talking about you know things having threes whatever yeah it can, it can happen to five ten twenty fifty unlimited amount of numbers it can infinity and beyond even you know so you have to just keep on you know, holding on and, and having the faith and not being afraid to keep on, you know, just believing that some way, somehow, if you keep plowing forward, if you keep on putting your best foot forward and you you, you just, you know, don't give up and you, you get back on the horse again and all those other cool sayings that a lot of people say and they just kind of like, Bleh. most people in one ear out the other <laughs> after a while, but just got to hold on to that because sometimes in life that's all you got is just that little bit of hope that glimmer of faith that the sun will once again come and shine through those clouds you know those dark clouds those huge dark freaking annoying clouds <laughs> that don't seem that they're ever going to leave don't seem they're going to dissipate but if you just hold on and you keep the faith and you keep on moving forward that some way somehow Everything will be okay. And I think that's what I'm thinking about right now. I think this is what I was kind of getting at. It's like, I've kind of been wanting or expectation. The expectation was like everything being perfect. Okay, not okay. Like, search for perfection where everything is just like flawlessly, absolutely just... 100% just mwah, chef's kiss it ain't like that in life right it, it, you, if you're going to sit there and wait for the perfect moment where everything is going to be flawlessly all the stars aligned and, and everything is going to be 100% all the perfect conditions you know to go out and fly a kite or whatever you're wanting to do in reality it's not like that so sometimes you just got to say, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to dive in and I'm just going to just do it. Even though it's not perfect. Even though I'm not exactly feeling 100% like me. 100% like yes. Okay. Boom. Because I was, I believed it. I thought it was completely and then something else happens in it and it it knocks that that freaking feeling of yeah to a feeling of nah not so much and 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 then multiple things kind of keep happening and the next thing you know you're you're just feeling like oh crap I'm back down at the bottom of the mountain feeling depressed again you know so it's a quite interesting thing I thought I would share this with you guys because I think there's probably someone out there in my audience who probably has experienced the same kind of feeling or sensation or they've gone through the same thing or they're still going through the same thing where just when you think you've made the other side and something else happens or it's like oh here's the goalpost I'm about to get there and someone's moved the goalpost further away and you're like crap you gotta be kidding me so it's, it's one of those situations where you know you just gotta realize that things aren't going to be perfect all the time and things aren't always going to align and be the way that you want them to perfectly be and in those moments when you think that you've made it to the other side you may maybe haven't and that's okay it's fine 
yeah, I think half the thing with myself is sometimes I'm my own worst enemy because I start getting mad at myself, you know, like just disappoint myself and like, what? come on, just snap out of it, like da 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 da, you know, or why aren't you, why aren't you freaking, you know, allowing yourself to realize it's okay to not be 100% all the time. It's okay for everything not to be perfect all the time. It's okay for it to be 90% or 70%. Like, everything doesn't always have to be 100% perfect because that's not life. And you're just not going to always have that type of situation on the day to day, no matter how much effort and energy you put into wanting that to be the outcome. The reality is that unfortunately it's just not the way it's going to always be. So you might as well just get out there and just accept that and be content with okay. You know, hey, it's not perfect, it's okay. And feeling things are okay comes from a peace within where you can kind of be kind of at peace with yourself and be like, you know what? I'm actually cool with okay because I know that in that moment where I'm saying it's okay, it's okay because I know I'm just out there doing my best, right? I'm just giving my best. I'm just I'm just out there and I know that I put a hundred percent in. And if my hundred percent is not perfect, it's okay. It's it's about the effort, you know, that I I attend, you know, I attempt, attempted to to put it all out there and just get out there. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Just get out there. Because things aren't going to be perfect and that's okay. You're not perfect. That's okay. You know, you're not going to always score the winning touchdown. That's okay. But if you did your best in the process, if you gave it 100%, if you gave it everything you got, if you attempted to do it, even if it didn't always work out exactly how you envision it in your mind, that's okay. It's okay. So, basically, what I'm saying is, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say and make another video where I have been saying, like, I'm, yes, back, everything is great, I'm... <clears throat> Mm, perfect yes all right let's go and pump myself up and I believe it in that moment because in the moment I'd, I'd be feeling that way exactly but then yeah, something happens <laughs> it's like and it's crazy like I, I never even you know my entire life I never really considered myself to be someone who like suffer from depression kind of things like I, I always just the life of the party, always positive, always believing in a positive outcome and that everything is good and that, you know, I have the, the ability to to choose whether I'm going to be feeling depressed or excited or happy or let life get you down or you're going to rise above it and all those positive things. And it's crazy, again, because the irony of everything that I'm telling you guys, everything that I've been going through, everything I've been experiencing, and I think this is why it's important for someone like me to share this with you is because I'm a freaking teacher. I'm a personal development coach. I'm a holistic practitioner. I'm a certified hypnotherapist. I'm all these things. I understand how it works. If you were my client, I would tell you exactly what you needed to do to get your life back on track and that you would be freaking feeling like everything was flawlessly, amazingly, abundantly clear for you to go out there and live your best life and reach your best potential and to just absolutely just get back out there and just go for it and everything would be okay. I understand all this stuff. I understand how energy works. I understand all this stuff because I, I've, I've had clients, I've told them how to do it. I was put in workshops and stuff, but I guess it's important for me to remind you guys of something I've said a million times that I, as a teacher, I'm just the biggest student. I'm someone who is just doing their best along the way to still learn their own lessons and to to deal with their own stuff you know like I have things that I need to to still you know deal with and clear in my own you know energy space and all this kind of stuff you know like things that 
that you know my own triggers things that i just need to still deal with myself like we all have to but that's called growth and that's called you know how you can evolve and reach that higher state of consciousness and all that stuff by you doing the work on yourself if you're not doing the work if you're not having moments where you feel like freaking what just happened did you tell me that Mike Tyson was going to come and punch me in the face? I don't remember that happening, but I feel like he's punched me in the face and I'm not feeling great about it. <laughs> so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's part of the journey. It's part of the experience. And, uh, and uh, I apologize to you guys because, you know, I just, you know, I, I don't like when I'm, you know, like, just stuck you know what I mean I don't like that feeling where I'm just like I can't believe that I'm me like the me I see and think of myself as being in this situation again where I have been feeling just like ugh. and it's like crazy because I just never think of myself that way but that's how the past few months has been just this kind of and I guess ultimately what I wanted this video to really represent was me coming to terms with, you know, acceptance of knowing that, hey, you know what, it's okay. I'm obviously not having to be 100% perfect every single time in my, you know, execution of anything. As long as I've given my best, that's all that, I, you know, that matters. And, and doing so that is perfect right I used to say a thing perfectly imperfect imperfectly perfect you can say it both ways and it still works <laughs> um, but yeah you know I just wanted to make this video I want to talk to you guys I wanted to touch base with you guys I wanted you guys to know that I'm okay and I'm okay and being fine with just saying I'm okay as opposed to saying, I'm, yes, super great, awesome, perfect, Whew, ready to run a marathon and all that, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, but I'm okay. And being okay, it's okay. So, that being said, reaction videos, we've got some in the queue now, which is good. We wanted that to happen, so we've got that. And now we get to drop some more awesome videos for you guys to enjoy and most importantly you get to know that um well that i'm okay and i, I think some of you guys just that by itself is comforting for you because you've you know asked me <laughs> <I'm> okay <laughs> stuff like that and, and i appreciate that you guys are concerned and you know you you worry and things and I appreciate it, it means so much to me and um, sometimes I think it's important that we all learn to check in with each other but more so check in with yourself because I think for a long time I think this is why I've kind of hit this this past few months where I kind of hit this like <clears throat> is because I was always operating at such this crazy high level like in general like it's just my thing like I'm just always up here and I'm just going and I mean I really check in with myself to see am I okay and because I'm just going and doing my thing and just going in through the flow and going through the motions and I think that's what I do I'm very good at just let's keep going through the motions just doing do because you know I'm professional at what I do no matter what it is, I'm going to just keep going and doing my thing. And, you know, it's easy to just, in the momentum, like when you're walking and breathing and doing, you don't think about it. You just do it and it's done. And I think that over time, though, if you just continue to just go through the paces and you don't take a moment to really check in with yourself and to really check to see, am I, how am I, how am I really, though, you know, like, am I really okay, <laughs> you know? And, and one day you are forced to check in with yourself, which is crazy. 
because that's the worst way to to really realize it. it's better if you can be more proactive about it and just be like let me just go ahead and check in today just to make sure i'm good you know when you wait until you've already <laughs> reached that point where you're like and you want to pull your hair out that's that makes it harder <laughs> so i suggest to all of you guys to check in with yourselves are you okay check in find out and if you're not figure out why and then come to the reality that I have through a lot of just thinking soul searching meditations talking to friends whatever the case is that works for you um, find that ability to be okay with being okay because if you're waiting for perfect conditions and everything flawlessly perfect everything to always go your way You'll be waiting a long time. So accept that, hey, sometimes it's not going to be okay. Sometimes it's not going to be perfect. But guess what? Even when it's not okay, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this video went longer than I planned. I was just going to just kind of just touch base and chat to you guys a bit. I was going to live stream this and I was like, eh. Because I'm not even sure I wanted to put this video up. So at least by me filming this, I can decide. Once you're live, you're live. It's out there. <laughs> so if you see this video, it means I guess I put it up. And, you know, I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for your support. And, and I want you all to hopefully, from this video, come out with something knowing that, hey, you know what? Things aren't always going to be flawless, but that's okay. You're not going to be perfect in everything you do, and that's okay. I think that's what it is, because I've always been kind of like a perfectionist type of person, you know? Like, I just always want, if I can't do it right, then I don't even want to do it kind of feeling, you know? If I can't do it to the expectations and the levels that I'm accustomed to doing things, or, or how I foresee it, like, you know, I see it, envision it, and think it should be, if I can't do it at that level... I don't know if I, I want to do it. I don't want to do it if I can't do it properly, you know. It's this thing, you know. And it's like the perfectionist thing, you know. But you guys remember, you know, some of you guys who are OGs who are watching this video. The first time when I started doing the van life thing. And, and I was like, guys, look. I don't have my studio set up. I don't have the, you know, the whole you know, my, 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 my cameras and my this, my that, like everything to make everything just flawlessly perfect. I don't even know if I want to do these videos now. Should I do them? I can't do them at the standards and the levels I was used to. And, you know, it's kind of crazy because, you know, I think in some ways not having all that extra sugar coating makes everything that much more real and more personal. And there's something about that that actually I've learned it's actually okay. Again, going back to saying it's okay. Because at the end of the day, what are you, you know, you're, you're here for is the entertainment that I bring, you know, whether, you know, the camera is completely 2 million percent perfect quality, you know, video or the audio or the lighting or whatever. It's about me and the content and the relationship and the... The, the, the you know videos that I'm creating with you my family and anyone who comes here to enjoy these videos so at the end of the day it's really about what we doing the content the videos and stuff they're not that you, you guys weren't expecting or you know conditional in your terms saying well look we, hey we're not going to make perfect videos we don't want to even experience them with you so yeah goodbye <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you for that, by the way, because, yeah, the quality of everything did drop the moment we ended up in good old Van Diesel. <laughs> but um, it's okay. At the end of the day, that's the theme we're going with. It's okay. That's probably what I should name this video is, hey, it's okay. Okay. Or maybe okay by itself. Because I started out the video thinking I was going to name it the other side or something, and then, I don't know, I kind of went to the other side and came back and went uh, you know what at the end of the day whether you're over there or not hey, it's, it's just okay <laughs> so I don't know anyways I love you guys I appreciate you and uh, there is a reaction video that will follow this video 
and uh, I'm sure you'll find it to be okay. <laughs> Just okay, Faith. Just okay. Anyways, thank you guys, and I uh, appreciate you. I love the support that you guys have been loyal and dedicated for so long. Thank you so much. And as always, remember to the fours. Keep it off tap. And know that it's okay. It's okay.